Hello everyone. <laughs> Hi. How is everyone doing today? <laughs> I I'm sorry for running a little bit um late than my um scheduled time for today because I had to <laughs> I had to fix some audio see. stuff again. <laughs> exactly why I took the position. And unexpectedly um something went wrong with my um with the with the app I'm using for my PNG. For my PNG's animation, so I had to fix that. But anyways, all is good now. <laughs> We're gonna be doing Golden Slumber today, as I've said yesterday, and I I actually don't know what to expect. <laughs> but I heard it's really long, but um, but I also heard that we're gonna learn a lot of stuff here, too. <laughs> so yeah, from 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 now on, starting on this stream and. As well as the upcoming streams, we will be doing a lot of desert stuff, like like the Golden Slumber right here, and as well as the as the latest um, World Quest series from the from the 
uh, new desert region with the tornado going on. <laughs> so yes. Whew. Also, by the way, chat. Um, I I'm just gonna adjust this. Um, just a little, just for a quick second. Um, I know there's. Um, I know we've received. Um, uh, some unfortunate news recently. Um, in the Genshin community regarding a certain um voice actor i won't be going into detail on what exactly happened because um it might be triggering for some people but just know that um um i i stand with the victims i stand with the victims and as well as to everyone who has um experienced the same the the same um situation as as the victims so um no amount of apology can ever erase what the what the what the what the voice actor did it can it can never erase what damage he has caused to the victims so i just want to put it out there and uh also by the way um i'm no professional so since i'm not a professional i can't actually um i i have no power in giving what um what what um support you need but just know that um my streams are always here if you need um if you need um a space to chill or a space to calm down or hang out just for a bit that's that's um that's the only thing i can offer you <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um i hope that um the um everyone who i hope that um the victims from the said incident will be able to heal very soon and i hope they they receive the justice that they deserve and yes <laughs> i just want to put it out there um i i won't be i won't be elaborating exactly on what happened because as i've said it, it might be triggering for some people but yeah i um yeah that's that's uh that's all <laughs> i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm just i'm just putting it out there <laughs> yes and Okay, so I won't be answering any questions about that incident or and also I won't be I won't if, if someone else asks in the chat about about that I won't be answering because yeah, it's a it's a very difficult topic to tackle and okay. Without all right, now that now that we have that out of the way, we can now proceed to the Golden Slumber World quest. <laughs> I hope you all have fun with me here. <laughs> oh, we're looking for a merchant from Monsad. Nice. Okay. I have no idea what's gonna happen here, but I know there's a there's a very interesting NPC that we'll meet, and I can't wait to meet her very soon. <laughs> All right, let's go to let's go talk to him, okay? Excuse me, are you Boniface? We're with the Adventurers Guild. Oh, hello there. But looking at your attire, you aren't um you aren't locals, are you? I was under the impression that the Adventurers Guild would send local adventurers who might be appraised who might be apprised of the situation. <sighs> that said, I'm not from around here either. Making a living here is tough for outsiders. My associate and I are both monsters. We of we originally traveled to Sumer City to trade in supplies and only came here at the request of a researcher from the academia. You came all the way from Monster to the desert to do business? Of course. Since you came somewhere as remote as this desert, you two must have been around the block too, I suppose. Of course. And you know your hometown pretty well too. Well now, then speaking of which, you must also know what sets us monsters apart from others. W wait, why is this an option? <laughs> you drink like fish? Why is that an option? We're gonna answer freedom instead. <laughs> That's right. What we monsters value most of all is freedom. Right. What I meant to say was that we monsters value most is freedom. How does that saying go again? Go with the wind. Come on, it's actually let the wind lead. Yes, right, right. That's the one. 
When the north wind began to blow, some dandelion seeds were blown across the sea to Inazuma, while others were swept away to Liyue. As for me, I guess I was favored with Amnimo Archon. I didn't stop at Liyue and got blown all the way to Sumeru. The, climi the climate and way of life here might be a far cry from that of Mondstadt, but I'm here, and I intend to make the best of things. So that's how it is. Still, could you tell us more about the commission you posted at the Adventurers Guild? Oh well, I accepted that Academia Researcher's commission, didn't I? Tirzat, that's the researcher's name. He took two mercenaries with him to look for some ruins, probably for some archaeological research. I don't really know much about Academia stuff. In addition to providing them with some supplies, my associate and I also rented a few Sumter beasts out to them. Natigal, my associate, was worried that they'd struggle to steer the Sumter beasts, so he decided to go with them. We originally arranged to use a dusk bird. Oh, you can do that? To send messages every once in a while so so that I could be informed of their progress or raise supplies to send to them as the, situa as the situation required. You did exchange messages this way at first, but I haven't heard a peep from them for the last two days. Paimon hopes there wasn't any sort of accident. That's what I've been worrying about, and that's why I decided to post a commission from the Adventurers Guild, and well, here you are. <laughs> but the desert is very dangerous, and you two seem so young. Are you sure you can handle a place like this desert? Are you underestimating us? Hm. You left Mondstadt, so maybe you're out of the loop. But you should know that Celeste isn't just an any ordinary ad adventurer. She's an honorary knight of the Knights of Pavonius. Huh? Wait, then you must be the celebrated Celesti. Oh, then you have heard after all. That's right, this is the renowned, <laughs> renowned traveler. I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, I, I, I feel so embarrassed. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna replace um, my username with um, with job, um, with the word traveler because um, this is making me feel embarrassed. <laughs> okay, okay. That's right, this is the renowned traveler and Paimon is the famed Paimon. <laughs> Goodness gracious, please excuse my rudeness. I never expected to meet a big hero in a place like this. And and a little here, hero too. <laughs> in that case, I have nothing more to say. I just worry that you may have some other important missions at hand, like saving a city or something, and don't have the time for a menial commission like this one. Uh, it's like it's not like we're always doing over the top stuff like that. We take ordinary commissions too. Besides, we've already accepted your commission, haven't we? <laughs> well, that's great. Right, as for your payment, I'll definitely think of something. That researcher from the academia has also been quite generous. I can picture it now. Just as they run into some troubles, lest the true he hero, I mean traveler, traveler, a true hero descends from the heavens to save them. Wait, the center of the heavens? That should secure you double the payment, right? This deal is a sure bet. Hmm, what do you think? If they're in danger, we have to help them. Also, we'll do it for the Mora. Great, fantastic! There's hope for my Cyrus yet. Cyrus? Yes, Cyrus is the name of one of the Sumter beasts I rented to them. Huh? Cyrus? What is it that? Does the actual Cyrus know about this? Huh? Well, haha, <laughs> it's fine. Just don't tell him. No one will know. Ahem. Anyway, the researcher and the others left the village and headed west. The trails here are a bit hard to make out, but you should be able to find them by following the footprints. I'll leave the rest to you too. <laughs> I was laughing so hard at the chat <laughs> while reading while reading the dialogue. <laughs> Also, LZ, good to see you here. <laughs> SB, I think it's cute that he named a Sumter Beast after the actual Cyrus. Yes, I know, right? I think um we've encountered two Cyruses so far. One is the Cyrus from the Adventurers Guild and then another is from the Sumeru Academy, I think. He got mentioned in Le in um in the Lisa Skin event. <laughs> okay, so we'll now go to the archaeology team. I am so glad I got Skyrimush. Exploring the desert will be so much easier. <laughs> okay, so we're okay. 
but these footprints are a mess. Okay, there are a lot of footprints here. Okay, I think there's more over there. Oh! Oh, we're still going! Oh, oh, it's kind of far. There we go. Oh my god, scorpions. Hey, go up, go away, go away. Oh my god. <laughs> that kind of jump scared me, wait. <laughs> SB Scaraduk is definitely useful for exploration. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I think it stops right here. Proceed onward. Oh, we're still going. Okay, okay. Wait. That's kind of far. Let me. Oh! I still haven't unlocked this. Okay. Looks like we have to um glide all the way there. We boom. LZ, I got Yalan today, so I don't have to suffer as much anymore while exploring. Oh, congratulations for getting Yalan. <laughs> and yes, Yalan is is so good. Her skill is just so convenient for exploration. <laughs> I lost my 50 50 though, so I'm a little upset I had to spend money, but it is what it is. Oh, I see. We're just gonna get this um, chest right here now that we're here. Okay. Let's go get some hyper bloom damage. Aras! Araseo, thank you for the follow! Glad to see you here! <laughs> I'm doing the golden... I just started the golden slum request right now. And um, along the way, I'm, I'm gonna get some chests. <laughs> okay. Where are we again? There. Hi! Hi! Okay. Time to... Time to use Scaramouche again. Oh, there's a chest right there, I think. Okay, that's a chest right there. Let me um, let me go grab Amber real quick. <laughs> okay, Amber, where are you? There you go. Oh wait, also I for I forgot to put um, I forgot to turn on the volume for the dialogue again. <laughs> I was wondering why I haven't heard um, combat voice lines. <laughs> so that's why. Gosh, also speaking of voice lines, I, I really I really wish that we'll get some voice dialogues for the major world quests. <laughs> like even even just the major ones like um like Golden Slumber and and um the Inconomia um world quests like yeah, I, I really prefer if they were voiced, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> so for the meantime, what since, they do this time? since um since some um, major word quest dialogues aren't voiced yet, I will be voice um I will be I will be doing the voice acting. <laughs> I just say hello. You seem like a really fun streamer, and your message before starting the quest was really sweet. You deserve more follows. Right. Oh, this thank will do. Thank you so much, Araseo. <laughs> okay. Proceed onward and search for the... Oh, it's a long way down. Okay. okay. No worries, Paimon. I have Scaramouche. I have Scaramouche. We won't... We will land there safely. Unless I forget um to plunge attack or something. But anyways. <laughs> okay. Oh. We have some NPCs right here, I see. Let's talk to them one by one. Starting with you. 
Oh! <gasps> Hello? Wait, I think this is one of the NPCs from the from Golden Slumber, I think. I see a lot of fan art with him. Wait, wait. Let me um let me um take a picture because oh my god, he's so tall. Can we have some um can we have future characters who are this tall? <laughs> Please. The only <laughs> the the tallest one we've got are are the tall men like Al Haytham, but uh, we don't have <laughs> <laughs> XR Jaco X, thank you for the all. follow. Welcome in. <laughs> Please, um, like, I really wish Ito was this tall. Come on, he's an Oni. I really wish we <laughs> we've been robbed. <laughs> yes. Time to put that in the survey. <laughs> okay, let's talk to him. SP party, Jarabril, my love. Ooh, so. Did you guys also fa fall down here? <gasps> the desert's no place for outsiders. If you have a way back, I suggest you take it as soon as possible. Looks like talking looks like talking to us is the last thing he wants to do. Let's try someone else. He doesn't want to talk to us. No. <laughs> Jacob, hi there. Buff Ito, please. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, wait. We have a... We have a uh, Dendroculus right there. Let me go grab that. Let me go grab that real quick. Mm hmm. There's a sand pile right here. Oh, Dendroculus will fly nice! <laughs> I always. I, I could really use some crystal flies right now. I'm always running out. <laughs> SP, he doesn't want to talk to me. That's fine. I can still admire him Respect respectfully from all four. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, let's talk to this one. Could this be could this be Natigal, the associate that Boniface was telling us about? Uh Oh, he doesn't seem well. Paimon thinks he's re Paimon thinks he's resting. Let's not disturb him. Okay, no one no one wants to talk to us it seems. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Hello, sir. Where's your dialogue button? There you go. He's just like an academia researcher, but why does he reek of booze? Th th think you can mess with me and scam me? J Jabril, you useless dot! How long have we been going? You know, only to get stuck. Ah, uh, if it if it wasn't for this busted stone slate. Oh, Paimon thinks he's drunk. There's no way we can talk with him now. Let's go ask someone else. Fourth person in the distance. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my wait, wait, wait. Is that who I think it is? Is that um is that Jet? Is that Jet? It's that is that her? Wait, 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 wait. God, are we gonna are we gonna meet best girl? <laughs> okay, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Let me take a picture of them. I think... I think Jet and Cookie Shinobi can be great friends. <laughs> wait. Let's take a picture right here. I'm finally gonna meet her! Let's go! Also, I've heard she's also um, in the more recent um desert world quest. I think. Gosh, if something if something happens to Jet, I <laughs> I don't know what I'd feel. <laughs> it's always the if Just she has a find if she has a sad backstory like the watch. others. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I hope nothing happens to her. <laughs> I hope. I hope. I hope. <laughs> okay. Wait, just another picture right here. I am, <laughs> I am making the most of this. Okay, let's go talk to her. Hello. Oh, are you the newly fallen? Huh? 
What do you mean newly fallen? Oh, do you have a way out? Huh? We accepted Boniface's commission to look for Tirzad's archaeological team. Boniface? That merchant from Wonstad? I know him. So you want to find the archaeological team, huh? Let me think. Oh, isn't that us? I'm Jet. Tirzad sort of hired me. He said that he hadn't gotten any word from you guys in a while and he was worried that something might have happened to you. So he asked us to come and check things out. I'm worried about Natigal. Paimon wonders if he was the one who was taking a break. Are all monsters so paranoid? What do you mean, a while? It's only been a day. If it weren't for that bad fall and the heat stroke that Natigal had, we'd also be trying to find a way out. So this pit is... That's right. The desert is an incredible place. One minute you're looking at solid ground, the next you step directly into a trap. And as you can see, we're trapped here now. Did you, guys, did you guys just get here or do you have another way out? Still, we've searched all over this place and there doesn't seem to be any way back to the surface. We have a wind glider. A wind glider? I heard Natigal talk about them before. They sound pretty great. To be honest, I'd like to give flying a try too. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, your little friend here doesn't seem to even need a wind glider to fly. Can you teach me, little friend? <laughs> How can I be as footloose and free as you? Er, uh, I mean as floaty? Paimon is nobody's little friend. Even Boniface know what that Paimon is famous. And Traveler here is just as famous as Paimon. Alright, my renowned little friend Paimon, can you teach me? What do you have to do to float freely through the air like you? Uh, Paimon doesn't really have an answer for you there, Traveler. Yeah, how does she fly though? How does she fly? <laughs> it until now Until now I'm still wondering how on earth did Paimon drown under the sea if she if if, if she's if she's a flying uh, <laughs> How on earth did she fall down into the sea if, um if, if she knows how to fly? Like how? How is it possible? <laughs> if you practice hard enough Maybe a miracle will happen. Everyone has their own special talents. There's no need to force it. That's right. Don't get bogged down with whether you can fly or not, Jet. You should work towards something else. Like a race with a Rishbolan tiger or something. Hehe. <laughs> I see. So you must, have, you must have hired Paimon to teach you how to fly, didn't you, Traveler? But since you're still using a wind glider, I suppose you haven't trained enough, huh? Once you train enough, I'm sure you'll finally be able to fly freely without needing a wind glider. You seem like a really good teacher, Paimon. Can I hire you to teach me too? Hey, Traveler, how much more will I need you to hire Paimon? <laughs> wow, you've got a wild imagination, huh? You don't have that sort of relationship. <laughs> huh? But, but isn't it just like how Tirzat hired my father and me and Natigal too? Surely I can also hire you as long as I have the Mora to spend. <laughs> oh my god, Paimon getting hired. <laughs> Paimon is my companion. That's right, Paimon will leave Traveler's side. Oh, that's a shame then. By the way, have you seen Tirzad and my father? We have, but... We explain the situation with the others to Jet. Haha, <laughs> I see. As I said before, Natigal must be having a tough time. What with the bad fall he took plus the heat stroke. As for my father, well, he's got a nasty temper. Don't take it personally. And as for Tirzad, he's basically been throwing a tantrum since things stopped going smoothly. That said, grouchy kids don't usually get that drunk. You're not wrong, Paimon. <laughs> Sometimes father will have a few glasses as well, but I've never seen him get drunk before. How about this? We can go back together and I'll explain everything to my father. You guys don't want to stay here too long, do you? Also, we saw you. Hello, hello. Made it in time. Hello. Hello, we saw you. <laughs> we, just, uh, we just met Jet for the first time in Golden Slumber. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your stay. Okay, meet the others with Jet. Father, I'm back. 
Oh, is Tatika doing better? Right. Paimon and Traveler told me all about what happened. How can you just ignore people, Father? Really, when is that temperament of yours ever going to change? Oh my god, it's her father. <laughs> Wait, I just realized. <laughs> That means he've completed Boniface's commission, right? After all, he only asked us to confirm the safety of the archaeological team as well as that of the Sumter Beast. Boniface! What? What happened? Boniface and Natigal are colluding to blackmail me- Huh? That despicable monster came all the way to Sumeru just to extort me, I swear! Is he still drunk? Mr. Tirzad, was the price not already agreed upon after our discussion? You even com confirmed it yourself, so why are you telling me a different story now? I usually have my hands full with research matters, and I've never dealt with business people such as you before. How was I supposed to know the rules about pricing? If Jet hadn't told me that you high walled me, I'd still be foolish enough to think that I scored a great deal. Well... <sighs> I'm really sorry, Natigal. Father had told me after the fact that I shouldn't have shared it with Irzad. Eh? Oof. Why is Paimon getting the, getting the feeling that Jet managed to offend all three people by saying that? That's it. I'm I'm laying you all off. There's a limit to how much bullying I'll take. <sighs> That's not fair, Irzad. Natigal and Boniface are in the wrong here, but Father and I didn't do anything wrong. Besides, didn't we only get stuck in this place because you insisted on coming here? Then you started throwing tantrums after that fall and drank even though you clearly could, can't hold your liquor. You might have the body of an adult, but you've been acting like a little baby. <laughs> you! You! Jet, that's enough. Tears that looks like he might faint from rage. Now isn't the time to fight. What we should be doing is putting our heads together so we can get ourselves out of this mess. Ooh, someone's talking sense. So that crook Boniface commissioned you to come look for me and your famous adventures, you say? Well, I'd like to hire you to get me out of this Archon for second place. At this rate, forget my research. Even my very life will be cut short. Since you're famous adventurers, surely you're more reliable than they are. Is this the double payment Monif has mentioned? What should we do, Traveler? Now's not the time for bickering. Let's focus on getting out of here first. You're right. Finding a way out together is what's most important right now. Any other complaints can be addressed once we're somewhere safe. That's right. See, Tirzat? If you could only think as sensibly as Paimon, we wouldn't have gotten ourselves stuck in this situation. Jet? I just explored a little bit up ahead and found what looks to be ruins. Maybe there's an exit le leading to the surface in there. Desert ruins don't constitute a safe place, and I'm not going anywhere with such unreliable people. But you're a researcher, aren't you? Shouldn't you be thrilled to have ruins to investigate? Uh, I'm an inner zoology researcher. I should be working- Wait, what? What the- <laughs> What do you mean indoor astrology? I should be working indoors and poring over documents, unlike some adventurers who go start craving bananas when they see a pile of old ruins. Oh, you. Don't waste your breath on him, Jet. Just let him stay there here if he wants to. But father... He's our employer, so he has the right to decide what he does and doesn't want to do. We just have to do our jobs. And there he goes. We'll come back after father and I have a safe path. If he doesn't want to come with us, then he can just wait here. And now there goes Jet. What should we do? We can just wait. We can't just wait here. You're right. Let's go find a way out of here. Are are you going to ditch me? The payment for the commission is negotiable, so don't leave me here with this crook from Monstad. I've kept quiet up until now, but Boniface and I are not crooks. What shady businessmen would offer such comprehensive after-sales care? Think about it, Mr. Tirzad. We could have simply received your payment, our payment and left it at that, but instead we let ourselves end up in the same boat as you. 
I guess that makes sense. But I'm not staying here right away. I feel more comfortable in the company of experienced adventurers. But you're still rip roaring drunk. Why don't you stay here and sleep it off first? I am not drunk. I'm fine. I'm coming with you guys. Don't leave me behind. Uh, then, then we should keep going. We should be able to catch up with Jet and the others. I'll wait here for now. I doubt the road ahead will be suitable for the Sumter Beast. Good luck. Woo! Jet and the others must have gone in this direction. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Mishoy asked, which direction is that? Is that under? I still never know. Oh, um, the the scholar that we talked to earlier was um from the Vahumana Vahumana Darshan, I think, because um the Vahumana Darshan has um has a has an hourglass logo as their Darshan logo, and and if I remember correctly, um, the the students from the Vahumana Darshan um deal a lot with archaeology. Um, with fields like archaeology, so they go to ruins a lot, which is very ironic because um, <laughs> I think the scholar we were talking to earlier is just making an excuse that um he's an indersology student. I think he's just scared. <laughs> I think he's just scared. Also, Nova, good day, everyone. Oh, so you you've met Jet and Jabril? Yes, we just met them. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the stream, Nova. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it looks like we're going in. Wait, let me um, let me take a picture of this real quick. <gasps> I have no clue what's inside these ruins. I really have no clue. <laughs> I did see a few streams from other people who did the who, who did the Golden Slumber World Quest, but um, I haven't. I only took a quick a quick peek because I didn't want to spoil myself. <laughs> So yeah, but I've heard, I've heard, the ruins are very massive. <laughs> Araseo, in their solidity sounding real sus. <laughs> We're here! Tirza decided to come exploring with us. What now? You mean that researcher actually changed his mind? Uh... Oh, by the way, this is a... This is the Bahumana logo. <laughs> He knows the pros and cons, so naturally, he came along. Alright, well, you'll get the chance to show off your skills soon enough. How should we enter the interior of the ruins? This is a researcher's specialty, right? It should be a piece of cake for you, right, Terzat? Oh, of course! I might be an idiot. <laughs> I can't take him seriously, wait! I might be an indersology researcher, but something as basic as this can't be too different from what's written in the books. Watch this! Hmm, this is... There, that should do it. Whoa, the door really opened. Well, that's Mr. Tirzad for you. Heh, that's what set us well, that's what sets us professionals apart from the amateurs. Paimon wonders what it's like inside. Let's go in and take a look. We're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Okay, oh, there's a waypoint here. <laughs> you show you, amazing job. You press the only button that could be seen. <laughs> SB, I haven't memorized the directions. Oh, that's okay. I, I get confused quite a lot too. <laughs> so, um, um, Amorta is the. Amorta is the um deals with biology and then um Bahumana deals with um archaeology and I think other I think other social studies I think. And then um of course um Haravatat deals with the with words, <laughs> languages and what else? Um 
What are the Oh, the the ta or I'm I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um I think Tawahis Darshan? Tawahis? It's um it's Leila's Darshan. Blank. Um I need to get out that of That Darshan blank. deals with um as astronomy, astrology, basically um celestial celestial stuff. <laughs> And then, um, what else? Wait, Amorta, Amorta, Bahumana, Harabatat, um, Tawahis, and what else? Ah, Kasha, Kashariwar deals with, um, yeah, t- technology, engineering, basically mechanics, and also architecture. So, um, Kave, who is, um, Al Haytam's roommate, is a Kashariwar, uh, student so he he's focusing on architecture and then um i think i'm missing the name of the princess i'm missing one other darshan i think so what's that again um amorta vahumana tawahis kashariwar uh harabatat i'm missing one more i think i'm missing one more i oh wait spantamad 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 um deals with the elements as i've heard and um Book learning alone is not I think it's um it's Lisa's Darshan. I I think that was revealed Wait. in huh? I think it's Lisa's Darshan. No. I think. Uh, where's Lisa? Where's my Le- where's my um uh, where's my good old Lisa skin? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think um Lisa is from the Spantama Darshan. Yeah. Intelligence. <laughs> All those scholars in the academia right. are prime examples. Yes, Hara- yes, Harabat is, is in linguistics. Fine, would never expected to find a place like this under the sand. I had no idea that there would be a space as big as this inside either. And... Oh, oh, huh? Why is that? Rigorous key to academic research. We only just got here. Oh, that doesn't sound like a very researchly thing to say. I'll know. I'll have you know that I have a research permit issued by the academia. <laughs> like the dialogue there is quite fast. <laughs> but wait, it just sunk into me that this isn't a domain. So <laughs> that means that means we can take pictures. We can take pictures. Okay, let's do one here, and then another one without without Al Haytham. There we go. That is so perfect. That is so perfect. Okay, let's raise the angle a little bit. There you go. Gosh, I, I really love... I just really love how Genshin um, incorporates very um, detailed um, underground architecture. <laughs> yes, SB! It's amazing how much is underneath the surface. Very true, very true. Oh, oh crystal fly, crystal fly! Okay, continue exploring. Alright, we're going, we're now entering the very first um, ruins of this world quest. Okay. Oh, I think I need to blow some air. Huh? There. Thank you, Scaramouche! Gosh, good thing I have him on the team. We're go- I think we're gonna need a lot of animal for some sand piles. Oh, oh, no, oh. Oh, no. Oh, I just realized I accidentally put facial in this team. Oopsies. <laughs> I think this team still works. <laughs> it's my job. I'll show any jerk that happens when they underestimate me. <laughs> Since the threat's been eliminated, let's keep moving. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> let me um uh, let me put um Cookie back here real quick because I care a lot about healing. <laughs> and then let's um let's go grab this collectibles right here. Do you even want this? Oh, there's a there's a stone tablet I think. Okay. Nova, Genshin really ha- really doesn't miss when it comes to environmental design. That's so true. I just really love that um they keep stepping up their game whenever they release um new areas. <laughs> I think um 
just it's just my opinion but ever since we've gotten the what do you call this the requiem oh no not requiem um what's the interlude chapter called the one with yelan um wait i forgot the title i think it was something like oh wait oh wait never mind it's um it's Perilous Trail, the Perilous Trail um, interlude chapter, the one with um, Yelan, Yanfei, Xiao, Ito, and Cookie. With, um, the, the domain designs, the domain designs in that chapter were so good. We're so good. Like all the all the upside down mechanics and stuff. That that and even even the portal travel was really good. They've never done something like that before that quest. So so oh my god. And and even and and and, and after that the the um after that um 2.7 patch came the 2.8 golden archipelago patch with the um, with um with um limited time domains and Gosh, the domains from Golden Apple Archipelago were were so out of this world, <laughs> and I think starting starting from that point, um, the domain designs in Genshin really improved a lot, especially with Sumeru. You can see you can see a you can see a very um vast difference between the domains we have now and the and the and the other other architectural buildings. Um, the 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 designs we have now are are a lot uh, more different compared to the ones we have in previous years in Genshin. <laughs> love that. I really love that. Okay, Seely. Looks like we're gonna open this right here. Draco, Genshin only keeps getting better at environmental design. I love Cookie. <laughs> yes, I love Cookie too. SB, ah yeah, Perilous Trail. There, those were good times. You show you, Mona's domain was really beautiful and confusing. Yes, yes. I, gosh, like Mona's domain was so stellar. <laughs> it is so stellar, and I just really love the the water the water walking mechanic in Mona's domain. I really wanna. I really wanna. I wish those domains were permanent. <laughs> gosh. And also, yeah, I think that I think the Mona domain was also the most confusing. Uh, I had, I think I got really di dizzy in solving the puzzles in the solving the what do you call this um constellation puzzles there because there were some times when I had to look up really high on the at the sky just to see the constellation and match it with the with the puzzle. Gosh, good uh, good times, good times. Draco, can't wait for Natlan's designs. Me too. I wonder what Natlan is gonna be based off. Oh. Wait, there's that. What do you mean it's your first time? What? I'm trying to read the dialogue below. <laughs> okay, that was kind of suspicious. Why? So Tirzad hasn't been to the desert before? That's kind of suspicious. Because... <laughs> That's kind of suspicious. That's kind of suspicious. <laughs> okay. Like, if you're doing a lot of field work in your darshan, is... <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna be traveling a lot. So, I wonder why I wonder why Tears that um only went to the only went to the desert just now. That's kind of suspicious. But um, we'll see, we'll see. Ow! Uh oh, wait, wait. This is like the this is like one of those mini games in limited time events. Ah. Uh, okay. Unnecessary. I like how, how I like how Jet just keeps bringing up um questions about 
Paimon's flying. <laughs> That's that's the question. That those are the kinds of questions we need to hear. We still don't know what Paimon is. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna fight this. Yeah. My L item is only level sixty, but he's doing already. He's doing pretty good <laughs> so far. Don't let any of it roll away now. I can't wait to level him up to 80. Oh, Scarab! <laughs> Hello, Scarab. Okay, so I don't have I don't have Sinerite, so I wasn't um, able to experience the the <laughs> the very difficult task of finding all the Scarabs in the desert. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, to all the Sino havers. um right here um how was your scar how was your scarab um hunting experience <laughs> oh my gosh i i remember <laughs> a lot of people had to a lot of sino havers had to start the golden slumber quest right away i think if i remember correctly <laughs> just to <laughs> just to um finally get all those scarabs as <laughs> scarab hunting was a pain <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh, you do not feel have enough clearance? Hmm, wait. Okay, I think I need to do something here. <laughs> Activate. We're going down. I I really love the elevators here. Oh, what's this? I, th I think we need to put something in here very soon. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm, more puzzles, I see. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be... Uh, let me switch up the party real quick. So I'm gonna be... Uh, I need Amber and... The ready. I know I have Cookie, but um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use... um. I'm gonna use Lisa for this one, for the Electro. I'll keep an eye on you. Okay. Okay, so... What else? You need this one. Okay. We need, um, we need this, um, Dendro thing to come here, so... There we go. There. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Nova, I just coerced some friends into letting me into their worlds to take their scarabs. <laughs> Thank goodness for a <laughs> call. Very, very understandable tactic. <laughs> I sometimes do that too. Wait for my like, signal. Um, I actually went to a friend's world just to get some pupa for Al Haitham. But um I haven't I haven't completed them all yet. <laughs> Okay, who do who was I suppo supposed to put here again? Okay, Sing Cho. May knowledge guide you. Oh yeah, and the I also had to go to my my friends' worlds for um for fishing for sets. <laughs> so so you see the the weapon I'm using for Raiden is the uh, is the catch, which you need a lot of fishing for. <laughs> you need to do you need to capture a lot of fish just to. Just to fully um le um fully refine this weapon, that was a very hard time. <laughs> but yeah, I this is the only weapon that uh that I have for Raiden, so I had to do a lot of fishing. But yeah, in actually in hindsight, fishing was also very re relaxing <laughs> for me. <laughs> It's it's um it's it's time consuming but also relaxing at times. I hope we find long lost ancient literature. Me too, Singcho. <laughs> SB call of a curse and a blessing depending on who you on who who you are in a situation. <laughs> it's very true. You show you remember when the Sino profile pic traumatized everyone? <laughs> oh oh you mean in call of <laughs> Yeah, I I Gosh, I wonder what um what the other players felt 
too. When when they when they see a Sino main take away their scarabs. <laughs> SB the Sino prophetic was a huge siren or signal for everyone. I hated fishing for those mats. Yes, yes. Farming takes a lot of work. Okay. Gonna follow this silly right here. I wonder where it will take us. Let's activate this real quick. Oh. Oh. Those are a lot of doors. What is going on? <laughs> Those are a lot of doors. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Let's blow up this pile just in case. Oh. slow okay we have some enemies right here let me leave you first rain out your face nice okay where's the oh, okay the silly the silly is right here oh it's going down Oh my god, this is a very massive, um, <laughs> this is a very massive ruin. Okay, do I have... Okay, so the Sealy went down there. Oh, there's a chest already. Okay, um, before I go down there, let me, um, let me check this, these things real quick. Oh, I don't have enough clearance. Okay, okay. I wonder if, um, I wonder if I'll receive, a, a, um, enough clearance once i go further down this um road quest stop oh tears that is tired all right this will do hey jacob the electric water spot was specially annoying yes yes i think that's the one in um suru i no not surumi um Serai Island, I think. I know that fishing spot too. It was a, uh, it was very tricky. <laughs> okay, going back. Hmm. We've been walking around for a while without making any progress. So why don't we take a little rest? Are you kidding? It's hardly been any time at all, and you're already thinking of resting. I said it before, didn't I? I'm an inner solitary researcher. I should never have come out into the middle of nowhere like this. Sus. Wait a minute. I was confused. Wasn't the archaeology wasn't the archaeology mission your idea? Jet, Jabriel, Natiga only came because you hired them, right? Yes, that's correct. Huh? So it was your idea. Then why have you been dragging your feet this whole time? If we didn't know the truth, Paimon would think that Jabriel must have kidnapped you to get some legendary treasure in the ruins or something. <laughs> You're funny, Paimon. My father may be a grump, but he'd never do something like that. D don't get mad at Paimon. Paimon's only telling it like it is. Don't bully Paimon. I'm sorry. My father re really isn't a bad guy, believe me. Then why is Tirzad so unmotivated? <sighs> it's because I don't care for the topic at all. <laughs> wait, wait. I, <laughs> I relate to this with... <laughs> If it wasn't for this accursed stone slate. I'm always told to be original in my research and to find material that no one has ever worked on before. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I, I relate to, wait, I relate to him. I relate to him. <laughs> it's so hard when you're, um, you're doing a research topic that you have no interest in. You're just doing it for the great. <laughs> wait, wait. What's the value or meaning of research if everyone is just following the herd, the herd or reproducing each other's work? Or so I've been told. But what am I compared to such a long-standing academic tradition and all my seniors in research? I'm no academic genius, so what can I think of that others can't? There are no academic gaps left these days <laughs> that I can't identify and feel. <laughs> Wait... <laughs> This is so relatable to all the students out there who are um, conducting research <laughs> and thesis. <laughs> like, <laughs> to all the college students out there. <laughs> 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 
we we relate so much to this. <laughs> but yeah, even um even other high schoolers have um depending on the um depending on which school they came from, they have um they they might have some research stuff to do too. <laughs> yeah, relatable, relatable. Okay, we show you that uh. That electro water at Yashiori Island was my first Toma in Genshin. SB, tears that gets more annoying by the minute. Okay, that's a bit relatable. I also hated writing papers. Ooh, <laughs> lot. Gosh, I hate writing papers. Uh, Paimon doesn't really get academic stuff either, but since this is your job, you should take it seriously. I do. I give it my all. Why else would I have spent so much more to come to this Archon forsaken place? It's funny, but this Scarlet Sand Slate was actually the research project of a relative of mine? She was originally a young researcher with limitless promise, but one day she left the family behind and eloped with some wild boy from who knows where. I heard that they fled into this desert back in those days. Unfortunately, I was a kid back then and only saw her a few times. I can't even remember what she looked like. All the more reason to buck up. Since you're researching the same thing, there's a chance for a reunion, isn't there? Fate is an unpredictable thing, after all. Hmm. <laughs> even if we really did meet again, and even if we really recognize each other, how could I even face her? The way I am now, I'm no different from a stray dog, li living off the scraps thrown away by others. Since I'm incapable of, of constructing any new theories, all I could do was take my chances in the field and see if I could dig up any new materials to base my paper on. Though, when it comes to King Deshret, the academic community has long since concluded that he was just another self-destructive tyrant. Speaking of which, she must have left this stone slate behind when she left back then, because even she knew this lousy thing had no research value. <laughs> and yet I took it to be a treasure. <laughs> this silly stone slate. I must have been out of my mind to think I'd be really able to stumble upon something. Uh, still, Paimon doesn't think you should lose heart. Because, because, um, we often make surprising discoveries while exploring ruins like this, right, traveler? There will be a, there will at least be treasure chests for sure. It's all, it's also good to see everything with your own eyes. That's right! Paimon might, Paimon might not really get super difficult research, but there's so much stuff in big ruins like this. If you take a good look around, there's got to be something you can write about, right? None of you have ever done serious academic research! How could you possibly understand me or the, or the difficulties of being a researcher? Stop talking like a child. The academia might control the path to academic publication, but they don't have monopoly on knowledge itself. Yes! If this is all you know about King Deshret, then you should have abandoned academia from the very beginning. Because it's clear, you won't get any results. Father? You... You're just a paid mercenary. What right do you have to comment on my ideas? So far, you seem to have very little in the way of professional credentials as a researcher. That much you already admit it yourself. Me? I'm... You! You! Here's that gets so worked up, the blood rushes to his head. Hi. <laughs> I... Uh-oh, what happened? W will he be okay? We should keep a closer eye on him after this and not let him drink anymore. He must not have completely sobered up yet when father made him so mad that all the blood rushed to his head. That was weird though. Why did you have to get so mad at him? We can't stop just because he keeps dragging his feet. Huh? But we can't just leave him here either. I'll stay behind to keep him safe. Meanwhile, I, meanwhile you and Jet kept look, keep looking for an exit. Well, what should we do now, traveler? Time's a waste, Sin. You're right. Let's keep exploring then. Leave tears out to my father. You'll have nothing to worry about. I'll come with you guys. Ooh. Okay, so looks like we're just going with Jet this time. And... Uh... uh he looks like he's in a lot of pain. You probably shouldn't wake him up. 
Gabriel. Let's get a move on. Enough dawdling. Gabriel is so tall. He is so tall. <laughs> Hi. I want more tall characters like this, please. Please, please. Gosh. Manifesting the day that we will finally have tall character um taller characters like him. <laughs> Let me show you. I want to slap a masking tape over his mouth. You mean um you mean you mean this color right here? <laughs> Nova, it's interesting how many of the academics are unwilling to try and learn new things. Yes, yes, it's like um the problem with um too much the problem with too much reliance on the Akasha the system is that um exams are straightforward enough. The the what academia it really comes down to is whether you are willing to put in the time. The academia if you study um, and practice, then it's really not all that difficult. <laughs> Sorry, I had I got distracted by cookies talking. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Um, the problem with the Ak with the Akasha system is that um the academia re um relied so much on it to the point that um I think the Akasha system was more of a they basically sp spoon fed um knowledge too much on the on the academia students yes <laughs> and and yes there's a, there's there's also a lot of there's a huge difference between learning from books against um learning from experience like like um like um like on field experience right here <laughs> there's just um there's just, just a huge you know difference you find yourself in a pit. <laughs> I can help you out especially with fields like this that require a lot of observation <laughs> SB Seriously though, Tirzad just assuming things about King Deshret and taking those things as the only truth is just so goddamn annoying. Yes, yes. Like um he didn't he didn't even bother to verify whatever he whatever info he got. <laughs> Me show you the academia students took there's nothing new under the sun <laughs> literally. Yes. Okay. Let's um take one more picture with Al Haitam right here and then we're we're gonna go with we're gonna We're gonna explore further with Jet. Okay. God I I'm really glad I we um I only started doing this quest when when I got Al Haitam. <laughs> it's for the immersion. <laughs> okay. What else? Um Okay, one more here. <laughs> SB, don't do King Deshret like that. Yes, yes. King Deshret is a uh, King Deshret is too precious for this world. Oh, by the way, um, I think, um, I think after I do the, after I do the entire, okay. I'll, I'll I'll just think about it, but um, maybe at some point while we're while we're doing the desert world quest, maybe I can reread the Goddess of Flowers artifact set because I heard there's a. I've already read that, and um, I just um I I didn't understand it at first, but I'm I'm gonna re I'm gonna read that again at some point because there's a lot of there's a lot of. Uh, lore there about Celestia and King Deshret and the Goddess of Flowers. Yeah, it's gonna take a, it's gonna take some time before the info sinks in. <laughs> and also, why are there so many ruin thingies? These um these ruin triangle enemy thingies right here. Wow. Nova, Al Haitam, sleeping on the job, eh? Tirza, that's gonna be a cut to your funding. <laughs> Tirza got up. Uh, he got caught. <laughs> Something seems off about that place over there. Careful now. Okay. Jacob, the music going hard. Yes, I know, right? It's getting more intense. How familiar. Beep. It moves. 
Wow, it's moving. Hmm? Looks a lot like the one we just knocked down. Still, it doesn't look like it's going to attack us. On second thought, it can float in the air. Just like Paimon. Doesn't that make them distant relatives? <laughs> Paimon would sooner be related to a pigeon. Beep. Beep. This thing's making weird noises again. Where's that sound coming from anyway? And is it really not going to turn on us out of the blue? Traveler, don't let your guard down. Can you try talking to it, Paimon? Look, you two are, are about the same size, so you should be able to talk to each other, right? How is Paimon supposed to talk to it? Oh, you're messing with Paimon on purpose, aren't you? Tee-hee. Beep. Boop. Beep. It looks like some sort of device. Should, should we pick it up and try using it? Beep. Eek! Yeah, you scared Paimon. It doesn't seem to want to do that. Eh? Can you understand it, Jet? Um, I can't understand the meaning, but I can get the feeling? Eh, what? Well, what a weird thing. Beep, beep, beep. It's so cute, though. <laughs> oh, I think it's a lot like you, Paimon. You both, you both look really cute. Same, same brain cells, same brain cells. Five months old, you were nothing alike. Well, yeah, you're round and cute, Paimon. And it seems a little... pokey? But it's still very cute. Uh, Paimon totally doesn't get your standards for cute. I think Paimon's cute too. Now is it the time for this, Traveler? The way I see it, Paimon doesn't get it, but Traveler does. I don't know why it's here or what it's used for, but maybe Tirzad will understand if we can get him to take a look at it. You. Hmm. What should I call you anyhow? Beep. Boop. Paimon floats, but you're a little lower from... You're a little lower off from the ground. So, I'll call you... Ben Ben. Oh wait, this is Ben Ben! This is Ben Ben! <laughs> oh, wait! I don't... I, I finally remember the fan art. Oh, so this is Ben Ben. <laughs> nice, nice. Draco, fun, li funny little fella. I know, right? SB, you make very good mechanic noises. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> yes. Looks like the, looks like the chat is the chat is very hyped for Ben Ben. <laughs> beep, beep. You like this name too? That's great. How do those two even communicate? Jet's amazing. She is amazing in a weird sort of way. Ben Ben, it must be boring hang hanging around here by yourself. Why don't you come with us? Needless to say, Traveler is pretty great too. As for Paimon, she might act a little superior, but she's a good kid who thinks about her companions. You'll definitely come to like her in time. Paimon doesn't act super anything. Anyway, Paimon's not going to fly lower for anyone. Otherwise, Paimon will breathe in a whole load of sand. Come look for my father with us. He may look mean, but actually, well, he actually is kind of mean. But, but that's just how he is with outsiders. He is nice once you get to know him. And even though Tears has a useless research. <laughs> He's not actually a bad guy. Right, and you might even be able to save his research, Ben Ben. Beep. Boop. Well, wanna come with us, Ben Ben? Beep. Beep. That's great. It said yes. Really? Are you guys really talking to each other? Don't worry, Paimon. Ben Ben and I are, are, are already joined at the, at the hip. Right, Ben Ben? Beep, beep. <laughs> well, let's go back to where my father is. Maybe Tirzad has already woken up. Provided he doesn't open up his eyes only to see Jabril and get so mad that he passes out again. Haha, <laughs> you never know. Close encounters of which kind? Hmm. 
you know chat this is actually my <laughs> my first time um reading out <laughs> uh, um world quest dialogues <laughs> it's been it's been really fun to be honest i did i didn't expect that it it would be this fun <laughs> It's a whole other ex experience when you're reading the dialogues out loud. <laughs> okay, looks like we're gonna go down here. <laughs> Alright, another elevator. Okay. Hmm. It's it's just so cool that even though this is already an um an old civilization, their technology is so advanced. Like wow. <laughs> okay, now we're going back to these two right here. Quit following me. But first, let me um let me take a <laughs> let me take a picture. <laughs> just um just just one will do. Oh wait, maybe I need another. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Alright, now let's go talk to them. Father, I brought another new friend back. Look, this is the friend we just met. Its name is Ben Ben. Oh, here's that's awake. Looks like things are going well with Father. I don't know how you came to that ridiculous conclusion, but let's not discuss that for now. What I'm most concerned about now is... What is that thing? Didn't I just introduce you? This is our new friend, Ben Ben. This doesn't seem like something that could be classified as a friend, could it? Doesn't this look a little like the same thing that just attacked us? You don't have a lot of friends, do you, dear Zed? No, I don't. Wait, what does that have to do with this? You're way too uptight. You just need an open mind and you'll be swimming in friends in no time. Isn't that right, Ben Ben? Beep. And you're too lax. So you don't know what Ben Ben is either, huh? It must be related to the guards here. I don't know exactly how to operate it though. But this unique model doesn't attack outsiders and can even communicate to a certain extent. I don't remember reading anything about this. Here's that! What? What is it? Isn't that amazing news? This is the material that no one has worked on before. Wait a minute. Could it be? No, it's too early to celebrate just yet. Maybe I was too narrow-minded and just happened to see not any relevant prior research on it. Maybe someone has already published 10 treatises and thoroughly studied Ben Ben's genealogy? Why does this guy always jump to the worst possible conclusions? Wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right about it. Beep. Beep. What is it, Ben Ben? Are you... Ooh... Ben Ben seems to be reacting to Tirzad's stone slate. Tirzad picked the stone slate up and walked towards Ben Ben. I hired you! Don't tell me what to do! Whoa! Ooh, Ben Ben! You're amazing, Ben Ben! Beep! 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 Boop! Beep! <laughs> Iwan doesn't completely understand what it's saying, but it seems happy. A small portion of the, of the slate lit up. What does it mean? Do you have any idea, Tirzad? Hmm. It's hard to say. Only a portion was lit up. Besides, I've told you all before. Rigor is key to academic research, and you don't want to jump to conclusions, right? Uh, oh, oh, yes, that's true. Wait, I, wait <laughs> I'm laughing at the chat. As we said, I officially voice acting for Ben Ben. <laughs> However, if you're listening, please, please let me, please let me voice, um, 
Please let me voice um. <laughs> Please let me be the voice actor for some robots here, please. I wanna do beep boop beep boop beep boop sounds, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, looks like we just have to find a way to light up the rest of the stone slate, right, Ben Ben? Beep, beep. Hold on, I have a serious request to make of you, traveler. Him. This has nothing to do with Jabril or Jet, so I kindly ask that you give us some space. Huh? You're gonna reveal some kind of secret? Come on, I wanna hear it too. Jet, mind your own business. But father, we're all, we're all companions here. Doesn't that make it our business? Fine. I'll give you all the space you want. Let's go, Ben Ben. Eep. Okay, what's up, dear Zed? What's the matter? Why are you getting so nervous all of a sudden? Can you help me take care of this stone slate? Huh? Isn't it really important? It is, and that's why I want you to take care of it. And to be honest, seeing it light up like that makes me uneasy. I don't trust myself if something were to happen. Besides, that weird thing also seems to have some sort of response to it. That weird thing? You mean Ben Ben? Wouldn't it be better to give the stone slate to Jet to look after? No! <clears throat> I mean, absolutely not. How do I put this? Alright, I don't trust Jabril. I feel like he has an ulterior motive. And since Jet is his daughter, they're obviously going to be in the same camp. Jabril might be a man of few words, but Paimon thinks he's very re reliable. Could you be overthinking this, Tirzad? Jet said it before, he's from the desert. And you really trust the desert people? I'd soon believe that Boniface didn't defraud me. You are so prejudiced, Tirzad! <laughs> hmm, what do you think, Celeste? My backpack's pretty big, the, slow the stone slate isn't heavy either. I have a, I have a big inventory, Paimon. <laughs> SB, there's that really showing his racism out on the open. So true, so true. Paimon guesses, so... Thank you. You're the only ones I can rely on in this vast sea of sand. You received the Scarlet Sand slate that Tirzad entrusted you. Fine, we'll take care of it for you for the time being. You're a huge help. Oh, there's a new mechanic right here. The activated Scarlet Sand State possesses special clearance that will allow you to control various devices within the ruins King Dash that left behind. Oh, so this one, so this mechanism is related to this, I see. As you adventure further in, the Scarlet Sand State will progressively display key locations throughout the ruins. Follow the slate's guidance and use special clearance to unlock this devices and you may re yet reach places that none before you ever have so is this like a kind of gadget is that a gadget wait wait huh or let's then see wait no. is that a gadget hmm. oh oh okay okay so it's not a gadget, but it's an it's a quest item. Scarlet Sand Slate. New new words have appeared. This object has long been the subject of academic research or Tirzad's research. Its etchings and craftsmanship indicate that it is it is a relic of King Deshret civilization. It seems to have the power to command devices within ruins associated with King Deshret. Let's let's take a look. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a quest tracker, like the Aranara, um, like the Aranara book we got. But this time, this one's for the desert region. Okay, let me let me see this one real quick. Oh, we have, oh, we have mechanics, new, brand new mechanics. Oh, so, okay, so we have an energy barrier right here that bars outsiders from entering. Can be fast easily if you have some kind of special clears. Oh, the clearance thing. And then this one, what's this? Plant of the secret rites. 
These structures, known as the plinths, may be found within King Dashret's ruins. Use them to control certain mechanisms within the ruins. Oh, it's like a book. However, you must have special clearance. Oh, not again, not again. <laughs> All right, looks like we need some clearance. Yeah, sure. Can we also talk about Daranara that was brave enough to enter the set, the desert, and hide Chester? <laughs> Oh, I I forgot which Aranara what that was, but um, big salute to them. <laughs> the Aranara are so brave. Okay, so this one's some um, uh, Ad Abjurod. Okay, emergence of this stack signifies the beginning of a great journey. Follow the guidance you receive, open paths with clearance, and document what you see along the way. Now this one. At this desert's very edge stands a palace whose main form is entombed beneath the sands. King Desert's realm waits ahead. Ooh. Looks like we're gonna be doing a lot of exploration tonight. Okay, so before we before we proceed to the next part of the quest, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break and water break. So um so once again, you know the drill chat. Um Please also take the time to go to the bathroom, grab some water, grab some snacks if you have to. Go stretch yourselves, check your posture, and all that, and all that stuff. I'll be right back um in a bit. Just gonna play some background music for you all, okay? Hmm. See you in a bit, there have everyone. Been many poorly written applications lately. I guess I'll just have to reject them all. Thank you. 